All right, Taurus, let's see what's been going on with y'all. We're going to tap into the recent past energy and also see what's coming. Taurus, this could be your sun, moon, rising, or Venus signs. This could, this could also be for the cross watchers trying to tap in to see what Taurus got going on. All right, so what's been happening with Taurus, Spirit? What's been happening with Taurus? Oh, Taurus. There could be some sort of inner conflict right now. Or I'm even feeling like you're trying to avoid conflict, but it's actually creating inner conflict. So definitely a vibe avoiding external conflict, but creating inner conflict. What's going on with this? Page of Swords, this could be in regards to some sort of separation that happened, some sort of heartbreak. But I feel like this person is definitely trying to come around and they want to be honest. But I feel like you're in this vibe of, I don't want to fucking hear it. Someone that you're in separation from, this doesn't have to be love. This could be even a friend. What's been going on with Taurus? Mm, yeah, definitely a friend. Maybe gossip was involved. This could have even been some sort of third party situation. Maybe cheating happened. Or this just could be, like I said, with the friend group, gossip was going on. People talking about each other. People could have said some shit about you that made you feel really insecure, made you want to isolate yourself from these people. And I'm just seeing you avoiding them right now. Queen of Coins, yeah, it's like you're focused on just getting your monies up, focusing on work, career your goals, your business. You could be healing at this time, um, practicing grounding exercises, being really practical, um, staying busy is what I'm seeing. I am seeing you're very financially stable. And it is a good idea to separate yourself. But I feel like there is some sort of conversation that needs to happen to release you so you can build up your success. I am seeing a build up in success. So let's see what's coming towards you in the near future. Six of Cups. This could be gatherings with your family, gatherings with childhood friends, you just really focusing on the good times. Maybe you and this friend group, you guys really had good times and there was just, you know, an energy of butting heads. So I do feel like there is an energy of making amends. Someone coming in to help maybe be generous. Maybe they're needing you to be generous with them. Let's see what's going on with this energy. I am feeling the vibes of family life. Maybe someone's Chilling with their mom, sisters. I'm seeing grandma, grandpa vibes. Near future for Taurus. Oh boy. The king of swords came up in reverse. And I feel like there could be some sort of talk about the past some sort of violence some sort of cruelty that happened within the home what is this about spirit wow yeah heavy violence energy something that This could be, um, I'm seeing like mental abuse. So maybe uh, someone narcissistic, someone who's a gaslighter. What's up with this energy spirit? 
but i feel like it's definitely something that someone's recuperating from also so maybe that's the where the spending time with family spending time with your elders comes into play because you're recouping from whatever bullshit went down whatever split up happened I'm seeing like somebody realizing that there's no place like home. There's no place like home. There's like a lot of sorrow here, a lot of crying. And that could be because it's, you know, cancer season, someone's in their feelings. Recognizing somebody's also going to be recognizing how cruel someone really is. And I feel like there's just a lot of energy of heartbreak. Someone's broken that they're finding this out. What are they finding out? What is this cruelty about? What are they going to be finding out, spirit? Wow, the emperor in reverse. We've been getting that energy a lot. So somebody could have been someone who's really angry, really petty, immature, bitter. The birds are going off out there. So I feel like a lot of noise, a lot of gossip still. What are you calling them to do, Spirit? What should they be doing? What should they be focusing on? Death. Spirit wants you to let it go. Spirit wants you to let these people go. They want you to let go of these emotions. They want you to let go of the past. I'm hearing don't bring that to the future. What do you want them to do? What do you want them to focus on? Oh, goddamn. Strategies. There's something about tactics and strategies in regards to letting go of the past. This could be travel. You traveling, staying busy. Staying busy, keeping keeping your yourself occupied. Yeah, the sun. Go out and travel. Go have fun, go celebrate, go enjoy. And I'm even seeing you may even meet a lot of really good people on this travels make a lot of good friends people that are on your vibration because there is this energy here of someone holding on to someone or something that no longer resonated and it just brought in a lot of hurt all right, nothing's coming out from tarot, so I feel like that's closing it off. We are going to get an angels and ancestors or Taurus. Trust your instincts. Yeah, it's like somebody knew, right? Somebody knew something here. And Spirit's telling you, trust your instincts. I even heard somebody strategizing to reveal that they want something to just be over and done with. So maybe no longer blocking out having that conversation, no longer blocking out those thoughts so it can be done. Because I feel like the blocking out is like just burying it and you don't want to bury those feelings. Trust the powerful animal spirit within you to learn more about yourself and talents. You have a powerful animal within you that can be wild, protective, instinctive, and even calm. Animals don't second guess how they feel, they just express it. And you can learn from that when this card arises. It's important to connect with how you really feel, how you want to feel, and what you really need. Take time to connect with your animal energy and express it naturally. Let even the fiercest energy move through you before returning to your natural state. It will teach you a lot about your gifts and how you can grow. Spirit, 
so tap in. Like I said, you already knew. And it's like the energies of when you know better, you do better, right? Yeah. Facing the fire is what I'm hearing. Why do I feel like there needs to be more said? Maybe that's the energy of this too. It's like somebody puts it to rest and they're like, and another motherfucking thing. It's like no closure. Somebody wants to keep bringing up more things. It's like nostalgia about where things went wrong and just continuing to bring it up. Seven of Cups from both decks. Wow. Confusion. Feeling emotionally confused because spirit wants you to let it go. This could be procrastination as well. Like, okay, I'll let it go. I'm done. And then somebody doesn't let it go. This could be on the other end, all right? Decisions. Wishful thinking. I'm even seeing trying to give somebody the benefit of the doubt. But no, it's, there's too much stress. It's too much of a burden to carry is what I'm hearing. This person's going to... Or this situation is going to leave you feeling overwhelmed and stressed out. Alright, so trust your instincts. Free yourself. Go travel. Go for a walk. Something. Alright, I love you all. Aloha.